Now, what is this GP ratio? Gross profit ratio. NP in the sense, net profit ratio. What is the formula of quick ratio? Quick ratio in the sense, quick asset divided by quick liability, but there is nothing called a quick liability. So it is what? Current liability only. Whenever we have something like inventory, do understand. The formula becomes inventory divided by working capital. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Rate College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the short, short season that is the unit number three. Now what exactly the chapter name is? The chapter name is Ratio Analysis. So what type of question you people will get? You will definitely get a question that is a theory part that is called Limitations of Ratios. Many of the students, they always ask me, sir, what is exactly the theory questions which will come in the main examination? So you may get a question called limitations of ratio. So please be prepared about the limitations of ratio for 10 marks or for 5 marks. Apart from that, what exactly you people will get? You will definitely get a question from 15 marks. That is, you are supposed to compute the ratios. So what are the types of ratios which we have? So the types of ratios when we go with it, the first type of ratio is profitability ratio. So in profitability ratio, what exactly comes here? So you have GP ratio, NP ratio. Now what is this GP ratio? Gross profit ratio. NP in the sense, net profit ratio. Operating ratio you get. Return on capital employed ratio. Then you have something called EPS. Now EPS you have already studied called earning per share. So you know what exactly you are supposed to do. Next is we have turnover ratio. That means what happens in the company, how the turnover ratio actually goes with. So working capital turnover ratio, stock turnover ratio, fixed asset turnover ratio, debtors turnover ratio, then creditors turnover ratio. So you may ask me a question, sir, should we remember all the formulas? Yes, you are supposed to remember all the formulas, but what exactly you are supposed to do is, please watch all the sessions of ratio analysis all the formulas I have told you how to remember and how to understand and then how to compute. And the last type of ratio here we have is what the financial ratios like current ratio, liquidity ratio, debt equity ratio, proprietor ratio, capital gearing ratio. You may also get a question, advantages and limitations of ratio that will come for 10 marks. Construction of balance sheet using ratio. See, balance sheet in the sense what happens here is we have the balance sheet. You have the liability here. You will get the amount. Here you will go with assets and you will get the amount here. So what exactly it does? You start calculating each and every term and then you can actually write the liability side as well as asset side. Both will be what? Tally. That is what the balance sheet. That means from the ratios you are supposed to go with balance sheets. Now all these are like 5 marks questions for you people. If they ask you. Next is... They, what exactly will be the 15 marks question? This is how the 15 marks question will look like. You will get a balance sheet and you will be getting some seven uh, questions. Now each question will carry say two marks or one question will be of three marks, something like that. They'll go with the ratios. Now here share capital. Now here all the things which you are supposed to know is liability is towards your left and the right will be your assets. So when we go with that, share capital, 2 lakh, general reserves, all these things. And what exactly you are supposed to see is very simple. See the question. Say current ratio. Now what is our formula of current ratio? Whenever I go with current ratio, current ratio is equal to current asset divided by current liability. Now what is that you should do? Which is the current asset? Which is the current liability you are supposed to write? You are supposed to take it and then you are supposed to go with the formula. Quick ratio is that. What is the formula of quick ratio? Quick ratio in the sense, quick asset divided by quick liability, but there is nothing called a quick liability. So it is what? Current liability only. So in that current liability, what all will not be a quick liability is what you are supposed to check and then go. Inventory to working capital. You have inventory, you have working capital. So there itself you have the formula. So what exactly you are supposed to do? Current assets divided by current liability I have showed you what exactly the current assets is. Quick ratio have given the formula and we have computed. 
inventory to working capital please understand how to calculate working capital is very very simple that is here i have shown working capital is what current assets minus current liability now inventory they have only given how much is it the inventory here now let's go with the inventory so where exactly you people will find inventory is a question now please do understand whenever we have something like inventory do understand the formula becomes inventory divided by working capital what is working capital current assets minus current liability see current assets is here current liability is here so 350000 minus 150000 so when you go with these kind of a terms now please do understand your inventory is what your stocks your inventory means what you have so 2 lakh divided by the working capital so that is what inventory is next one is debt to equity ratio what is the formula debt in the sense long term debt long term debt divided by equity shareholders fund so here long term debt divided by shareholders fund long term debt is in the sense what what is a long term debt here when they have given 4 lakh 20000 rupees now shareholders fund what exactly is a shareholders fund if you uh, go with that shareholders fund will be calculated as what very simple here only we'll go with it that is say you have shareholder fund share capital is there reserves and surplus is there then pnl account is there 2 lakh plus 40 is 2 lakh 40 plus 30 is 2 lakh 70 so that is how you get here 2 lakh 70 and the ratio you people should go with proprietor ratio is what the shareholders fund divided by total assets what is the total assets here see shareholders fund here only we got no shareholders fund 2 lakh 70 thousand you will take it total asset how to calculate us in the problem itself this is what the asset side is this is the total of the total assets 8 lakh 40 thousand so we'll come here total asset is what 8 lakh 40 thousand done last one here if you go with capital gearing ratio is equal to fixed interest bearing security divided by equity share capital that is how you will get and the last one here current assets to so fixed asset ratio is current asset divided by fixed assets now fixed assets and total asset there is a problem here what is it current liabilities and current assets are there no the same way here you have current assets total asset so total asset minus current asset that you will get what the fixed assets here so that is how 4 lakh 90 and then you divide it so it is 0.71 is to 1 that is what 0.71 divided by 1 is what you would have got so these are the things so remember in ratios you have three theory type question the first one is advantage or limitations of ratios then you have something called the formulas they will actually give it to you you are supposed to explain what exactly that particular uh, meaning is of that ratio and the next one here when you go with that you will actually get a question that is more about what is ratio analysis so you should write a note on ratio analysis if you don't know what to write it write the formulas of these things you will at least get two or three marks that is how you are supposed to get the ratio analysis chapter done so any question regarding this please do ask we are always there to help you thank you so much i'll see you when i see you